Hey guys, it's Andrew with AndroidCentral.com and I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the Carbon App Backup and Sync uh, app that has just come out in the Play Store. Uh, it's been out in beta for a while while the developer got some of the uh, bugs worked out and he's still working out several more, but um, it's definitely ready for a general release. The reason why I have a laptop right here is because if you are not rooted, this app is going to require that you hook up to a laptop each time you reboot in order to um, get the backup set up and going again. Um, you're notified right when you open it up for the first time that um, you need to load it up on your PC, in order, PC or Mac or Linux box in order to get it uh, set up. So you can have it send a link to your uh, PC, but if you've already installed it like we have, you can hit OK and you can grab your USB cable and we'll plug in now uh, most uh, phones that don't have SD cards are going to be uh, enabling MTP media transfer protocol to hook up and um, view the internal storage because you don't have USB mass storage um, for some reason it likes to use PTP which is the uh, used for pictures and um, it'll take you right to the settings screen to switch over to PTP from MTP and then you can take it back again and have your computer notice that it's in uh, PTP mode and let's see we'll pull it up here on my computer if I can navigate with one hand and you'll open up carbon and we come back down here and now we should notice there we go Android uh, app backup has been enabled and you'll notice the big green checkbox saying that it's been enabled so this doesn't need to be used anymore on the PC it's all done it's just used to get it enabled and get everything set up so now we have uh, the disclaimer please note if you turn off your uh, Android phone you'll have to reconnect it uh, basically what's going on here what this app is doing is taking advantage of the default uh, Android SDK ADB backup and restore but it's just doing it on the phone on its own um, but because you're not rooted it um, needs to do, think that it's interfaced with the PC in order to uh, do that so now that we have it all set up all you do is you um, scroll through and pick the apps that you would like um, you can also pull this up and let's see, oh whoops, let's go here, we don't have anything selected. So you can select the ones that you want. So select these um, specifically, now you can select all, deselect all of course, and you could say, um, you know, just back up a group of apps called games and you could say, you know, call that a, a group backup. Now, you can just hit backup and you can choose where to save it. You can choose USB storage, a scheduled backup, or uh, one of your cloud storage services. The cloud storage ones are gonna require that you pay for the full version, which is uh, $4.99, and, uh, but we'll show you the basic version, which is uh, USB storage. And you just tap that, and it basically, you see, it just goes to the settings menu as if uh, you were doing a manual SDK backup uh, with ADB, and then it just progresses on its own and it just says okay so now when you want to go to restore oops, go to restore you just go to uh, restore apps from USB storage on this Nexus 4 and you could check whatever ones you want and you hit restore and there you go you'll see a restore up there and now it's done so it's uh, it's really that simple. It's you either back up or you restore. Um, Off-site makes a lot more sense than backing it up just to your phone, just because um, you know you're going to be toggling to PTP, plug it in, set it up, and then toggle back to MTP, then open and browse the files and pull them onto your computer. Uh, it's probably worth your five dollars just to have it back up to Dropbox or Google Drive, and then you 
uh, really you want to back up off-site so that's the, the best way to go and that way you can also set up some scheduled backups and things so uh, you know once a week or you know every night or something you can have it back up now by default in the um, by default here um, you can oh, I'm trying to see whoops I believe there is a setting there we go so you can have it back up just the app data and not the APKs themselves, which saves you a lot of room. Uh, this way, when you open up a new device or you load a new ROM, you'll have to install the app manually and then you can restore all of the app data. It's, it's uh, easier on your, uh, on your internal storage or your uh, cloud storage if you do it this way. Uh, anyways, that is your look at Carbon, App Sync, and Backup. Uh, available now in the Play Store for free and you can uh, upgrade to the full version for $4.99. Thanks guys.